Hello everyone, Rock AP here, and today we have a very special episode of Hidden Gems. We're taking a look at games made by people like you, made by people like me, and on today's a very very special episode, we're taking a look at games made up at Wrexham Glindia University for Global Game Jam 2019. If you don't know what the Global Game Jam is, think of it as like a collaboration amongst game developers. They come together at specific sites. For South Wales, it was Arcade Vaults. For North Wales, it was Wrexham Glendia University. You get basically given an idea that you have to roll with, like a theme, and you get put into random teams, which makes it more fun. You can turn up with your friends. It's more fun to make new friends at these kind of events. And then you have 48 hours to make your game. And you can make a video game, you can make a card game, make any kind of game. Make a game on paper. If you're good at drawing, just draw something cool. It's a huge event done all across the world. So, yeah. Check it out. Check out the website in the link below. And today, we are playing games made over in Wrexham. I wish I mean all the games. Oh, jeez. What have I let myself in for? Who knows? Let's try it out. The first game is House Fighter Turbo Hyper Ultra Champion Edition. Jeepers. Sounds like a play on Street Fighter. What are the buttons? Oh, it's Enter. So, what are the buttons now? Oh. So can I, what do I do? <gasps> you play as both, both players. That's interesting. Yeah, watch him go. Angry. Do they have controller? No. For some reason, it doesn't allow you to use controller. Funny enough, one can jump really high, and the other one can just bob. Games like this, to be honest. Could be their first game, who knows? So it's about a fighting game where you two characters in a house just fighting it. Oh, and it's gone. Okay. That was made using a Click Team Fusion Photoshop. Let's see what's next. So this next one is obviously Home is Where the Heart Is. I think at this point it's safe to say that the theme for the Global Game Jam is something to do with homes and where the where it is, what it means to you. You play as a 1950s family and nothing out of the ordinary is happening? Or something? Oh, it can't go any further that way. And the mouse is gone. And people are running around. The one thing these games need is probably some kind of sound. Apparently this is a normal family. Just doing normal things. I guess in a way. Because how we all want our families to be. What the hell am I watching? What am I doing with my time? Why have none of them got real faces? Well, the, the one does. The one has been animated to look like a bad kind of Pokemon character. The rest of them. And where's the tally? Why there's never any tally. So this next one's called Leave My Home Alone. Man. My hopes are so high for this. It's about having a, you've got a health meter, a sanity meter, a hunger meter, sound effects. I'm impressed just because there's sound effects. Oh, well, there's another door you just vibrate it into. Very quick movement with the mouse. There's a cat noise. Funky toilet, but yet no cat. Was there a door here before? No, but I think it's a... Is that a washing machine? Whoa. I think that's supposed to be the cat. Oh, yes. It got louder. <laughs> Okay, there's meat, because that is usually in the kitchen, hanging up like that. Oh, a very dirty sink. It's a bit like how I leave the sink. A, a soft refrigerator. Man, just like being in the 50s. Meat everywhere. This is 
Oh, there's a man and a hoover. Let's get going through this door where the oh the horrible horrible beds are. No wonder you're losing sanity. Is that eat to interact with things? But how does it determine was it interactable? Is this supposed to be a tally and Oh the sofa's not so bad. It's like a regular sofa, the amount of scratches on it. And a little futuristic seat. I like that I'm a hundred percent hungry. Can I eat you, cat creature? No. Eon that doesn't do anything. Eon the refrigerator. How about Eon? It said there was an option to shoot as well, or am I thinking of a different game? I'm sure this one was... It's called Leave My Home Alone. There must be some kind of shooting going on. And in the picture, it was with a gun. There was a gun in the picture. But, alas, nothing of the sorts. Okay. I just want to point out, it is games like this that came up with the likes of Celeste which was huge last year, won some good awards for being a great indie game. And a lot of people love it, check it out. So hopefully we'll find something to that kind of caliber where they think, you know what? We're gonna work on this and make it great. And this next one we're playing is called Room Room Bar. Something about... Yep, yeah, you're a Roomba and you are cleaning. Yay! Next level is a burger there. Here we go. Delicious. Man, these puzzles just keep getting harder and harder. Is that black thing something you're supposed to be hoovering up? Oh, I missed one almost. I did it! Some teddy bears. You couldn't possibly hoover up a teddy bear. <gasps> it did! We'll collect all these. I can see it. I can see that little black thing hiding. Let's hoover up all the teddies. I did it! How do you possibly lose this game? Oh yeah, there's a time limit in the corner. So far it's been my favourite game. The room room bar. There's something about being a Roomba that you don't get experience in other games. They could have called this the Roomba experience. Pick up a little sock. Oh, it gets sucked in. And if you go off, there's a chance that it follows you because of the suckage. There we go. We're on level seven already. I hope there is a high score to beat. Because I think I'm doing pretty well. I've slowed down actually, and the time's gone low. Oh, this isn't very good. Isn't very good at all for me. Oh, I gotta get them all. Oh no, there's so many to get. I think I got a timer. <gasps> five seconds. I'll never do it all in in five seconds. Ah, oh, they got me. And then it starts off a level one again. Excellent. Well done, Room Roomba. Man, I think the worst point so far has been the actual website. So slow for downloading. I'm downloading the next one by Quantum Soup, your actual game dev, who I'm looking forward to seeing his game. And it's much quicker because he's gone through Itch.io instead of using the Global Game Jam site. Fun fact about this one, Strays. It may have the youngest game jammer in all of Wales. 11 years old. Whoa. Look how she moves. I think it's about collecting stray cats. Man, I really love the background on this. I love the blurred effect. <gasps> stray cat. How do I collect you? Is there a button I'm missing? I picked it up! Let's go. Drop my kitty off. Did that work? 
Is it going to stay there? Let's go back into exploring. Man. She moves kind of weird. But the background. Lovely stuff. And they have rolling hills. It's the kind of landscape you'd see in a survival game. Like your PUBG's. <gasps> it's kind of going grey over here. The sound effects have gone. Oh, they've come back again. Oh, a crow. Calling as if to say, where's your cat? <gasps> this cat's missing a leg. Can you believe it? Three-legged kitty. Oh, I think I heard something in the background. Some kind of freaky. Freaky deaky, as one might say. Hopefully there's no enemies to try and see my three-legged kitty. <gasps> oh, the lighting made the cat change colour too. Oh no, I let go! I wish there was a way to sprint. There you go. It's got to be one going the other way, surely. The third lost kitty. Up this big old hill. I'd love to go exploring into like a 3D environment of this. <gasps> What's happening? Is there a kitty up here? No, there's nothing. I've wasted... Oh, I can keep going. I like the snowy particles too. Man, I'm impressed easily. And this... There we go. I knew it'd be up there. If I was to compare it with the other games so far, this would be the best. Purely because A. It works. B. The environment is awesome. C. I love cats. Oh, we did it! It's victory! Check out that victory music in the victory... Things falling down the screen? Where are they coming from? I feel like I've really completed a quest here. And it's so loud on my headphones. Jesus. Man. I am relieved I rescued all three kiddies. Good job, everyone. This next one now. It's called Square One. Um, some kind of combat game? Oh, I see. It's an arena-based game where you use your phone as a controller. Man, let's skip that one. But I do recognise that man in the middle. I believe he's part of the team who made Sunburnt, which is a zombie survival game. It's actually pretty fun. Pretty cool. We've made a couple of games that they've made, actually. And the other one was a kind of like a multiplayer racing game where it was kind of similar to pod racing. It'll, it'll be one of the other episodes in this series. Next up is Dungeon of Champions. Did I say Dungeon? Jesus, what's wrong with me? Dungeon. Dungeon of Champions. Sounds like a pretty epic name, if I don't say so myself. Just press space as it suggests to play. Only those who have proven themselves worthy may enter the dungeon. Whoa! Arrow keys to move. Oh, okay. Whoa! Where's it going? How do I know which way to go? I did it! But he got me. Whoa! Okay, arrow keys. Oh, my, my mouse. Oh, God damn it! I don't know what I'm saying in my mouse. I mean, my microphone's in the way. Oh, I can shoot! Eat! Bullets! What a crazy little game! Oh, if the bullets don't go out far enough. Oh, no. I probably don't need to move. I can just keep blasting. I'll keep blasting. Whoa. He's all over the place. You know what? I think I can take him. I'm taking him. I like how he's also got stuff that he's saying. But it's going too quick. This was made by one person. The other team seemed to have lots of people. Or like three or four people. But this was just a one person. Oh, there's another one. Who am I against this time? What kind of weapon has he got? Whoa. 
Seems to be all about them lasers. Is he hitting me with her? It all depends on if I can get his health quicker down than he can get mine. Whoa, whoa, I did it! The Goblin King, he's got a mace! Shouldn't have too much trouble. Why didn't he tell me about the previous people? Oh yeah, he has got a mace and he isn't much trouble. Oh, he bounces around though. He can't shoot me, I'm too close. This is the easiest boss yet. I'm ridiculous. It looks like it's made out in paint. I could probably draw something like this. Oh, check that out. I got the diamond. Versus an ice golem next. Ice manipulation. Man, this game is getting more intense. And it's all about destroying bosses. This has nothing to do with homes. You know what? I love this boss. This is fantastic. The design, the way it just keeps moving. It don't care what you're doing. It'll just keep doing the same pattern that it wants to do. And I can, I can respect that in a boss. Oh, he dropped his eyes. And then a diamond. Oh, I've played against this one before. It was probably the hardest of the bosses. I mean, I wasn't sure if I was, oh, he got a new spell. Come back here, you. Oh, he almost got me good. He got me. Can't win them all, I suppose. Oh, he's still going. Still going. Next up, we have Brexit Simulator. It wants two controllers to be able to play. Man, I've only got one on me. Oh, man. It sucks. I can't do anything about this. Ugh. Look, it's just got a swear. It's got actual music. And we can't play. Let's just look at the pictures. So it looks like you choose your character. And then you say lines. And I guess they vote on which is better. There you go. Two player game. And it starts like this. Sad. Just let me use a keyboard. Before we continue with the final two games. I gotta say, man. The downloads are so bad. Why is this website so bad? 300 KB per second. I reckon the one's downloading that. And everyone's gone down to 116. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. So it's going even further down. But my internet's not gotten worse. It just doesn't want to play. I was just about to pick a game called Whoops Not My Home, but it turns out it's just a Unity project. They don't seem to have a file that I can click on to play. So that means there's only one game left, and that last game was the biggest game, Memories of Ruins, which is just finished downloading. Let's see if this is a game now. Oh, methinks it is. Oh, Jesus. So this is Memories from Ruin. It is actually super dark. Honey. They're still working on this, clearly. It's supposed to be a game about reliving your childhood, I think, or something. You fire like a... What kind of gun is this? Bouncy ball gun? There's two tiny models. And there's not really anything else in this world. My god, it reminds me of um, a Game Jam game I played previously in the series where you're in like an artsy world and you're in the house. It's basically the same size as that. Only it's a lot spookier because things actually happen. I feel like they weren't given enough time. Look how big this world is. I'm still falling. A tiny, tiny speck. Just a few. Can I, can I reach it? With my gun? I have no idea where those bullets are going. It's a heck of a planet. I mean, it must be huge. It must be a huge planet. This would be awesome for like a space game. If I could go in there. 
Or is that it? I seem to have reached the invisible wall. Maybe it's not huge at all. I feel like that might be right next to me. Then why am I still falling? And that's it with the Game Jam for another year. Global Game Jam 2019, Arexum Glindia University. If you'd like to take part in the next one, head up there, check when it is, and just sign up. Anyone can sign up. I think the more musicians they have, the better. Because the games with the music, I really just enjoyed the music. So yeah, let me know what you think of the games. So as I said, out of these games, my two favourite have to be Room Room Bar. I think it has a lot of potential. If they work on the puzzles, you got yourself a cute little puzzle game where you play as a little Roomba. And Strays, made by Chris Payne and his daughter. They have made a cute little game by rescuing kitties. I do love kitties. I love the background in it. I love the sound effects they had in it as well. And the environment effects was pretty cool. Two great games. And the rest, they were okay, I guess. Tell me what you think. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe. Visit welshgaming.co.uk. I've just released a new project fundraising charity project for Valindra Cancer Centre where if you're a streamer or interested in games you could be a games developer I'm looking for ways to raise money for them because they do a lot of the cancer services in Wales and it's super expensive so I thought you know we need to give back so check out welshgaming.co.uk for more information thank you for watching and bye